After the week he's had, it seems more possible than ever that Donald Trump may soon be trading the White House for a white Bronco. At least that's the scenario Stephen Colbert jokingly posited on The Late Show Thursday night, as his episode began with a sketch reimagining O.J. Simpson's infamous attempted getaway with the embattled Trump as the fleeing celebrity. For this sketch, footage from Simpson's highway ride played while a fake news reporter announced that the scene was taking place on a Washington, D.C. highway. Colbert's reporter. Authorities believe the passenger in the car to be President Donald Trump. The chase comes on the heels of a special counsel being appointed to the Russian investigation. The SUV appears to be driven by longtime companion Steve Bannon. Oh, we've just been told that Trump is holding a taco bowl to his mouth. That last line is a very dark reference to the gun Simpson apparently held to his head while riding in the white Bronco, partially to keep the cops from pulling the car over. The reporter then announced that they had the president on the phone. This is a witch hunt. No one's ever been treated more unfairly than Donald Trump, said a Trump impersonator. Sir, put the taco bowl down, responded the reporter. I already ate it, said the fake Trump. Then, in a good comedic pivot, the show had the impersonator start bragging about the ratings of this police chase. Oh, by the way, this is the highest rated police chase ever. It's tremendous. The best. In case you're wondering, about 95 million people watched The Simpson Chase live, although a similar Trump chase would presumably surpass that number. The sketch then ended with the Trump impersonator telling Bannon to pull over, as he wanted to get another taco bowl. Of course, comparing Trump to Simpson is a giant leap. Just earlier this month, the new book, Trump Revealed, reported that Trump doesn't work out, for example, as he believed the human body was like a battery, with a finite amount of energy, which exercise only depleted. Despite his later transgressions, Simpson is still widely believed to be one of the greatest athletes of all time, so, obviously a very different person than Trump.